So it's 2012, it's October, we're kind of getting close to the end of another year, so I thought it'd be fun to do a quick tour of my current gaming setup, sort of like a snapshot or a documentation of how I do my gaming like right now on a daily basis sort of thing. But not only that, maybe also mention a couple of games I'm currently playing and also some of the systems I'm looking forward to, so maybe like some of the next gen ones that haven't come out yet, and also some of the retro ones that I've not played yet and I'd like to play, uh, and also some of the improvements I'd like to make to my uh, current setup here. So yeah, I'd really like to see everyone else's setups too, so feel free to make a video response if you like, and it really doesn't matter if you just have, I don't know, like a Sega Pico, hooked up to an old CRT or I don't know maybe even got like a, a fully blown uh, fully equipped retro arcade or something it doesn't matter it's basically just like a snapshot of how you game on a daily basis right now so I suppose if I turned up at your house and uh, wanted to do some gaming what would you have already hooked up sort of thing ready to go so yeah I just think it'd be really interesting in future like maybe five years from now maybe even 10 or 20 if YouTube is still around, just to be able to look back and see how we were all gaming in like 2012. Uh, basically when consoles like the, I don't know, the 360 and the, the PlayStation 3 are considered retro, and uh, yeah, the likes of your, your Mega Drive and Dreamcast are considered to be really old, like old fashioned sort of thing. But yeah, this could be like a, a yearly update, so every year you can kind of look back and see uh, how people were gaming in the, the past but anyway I think you get the idea of what I'm going for so I'll just get straight into showing you how I've got everything set up here and what I play. And what I so I'll begin with the TV since everything's hooked up to that and it's just a standard 32 inch LCD it's a Sony Bravia it does 1080p has all the hookups and connections you'd expect in the back so it suits me fine and if you're interested to see how this is all connected up then I did a video on that previously and I'll maybe leave a link in the description so you can check that out if you're interested but that's the TV I used there. For the sound I run everything through this and use these headsets. These are Triton AX Pro 5.1 surround sound um, gaming headsets and some of you might remember I did a video on these quite recently. I got them from eBay, they were faulty, I paid like £19 for them and uh, yeah I got them fixed up and um, I've now mounted the head unit to the uh, entertainment system here, I just made some brackets, I don't know if you can see that, just made some brackets and bolted it onto this to keep it out of the way and keep it nice and secure. But this is connected up to the TV through the optical cable and all the consoles are connected up to the TV so whatever the console outputs, TV outputs to this thing here and then you get to listen to it through these uh, meaty headphones. I really love these things, they're, they're great. There's like four speakers in each ear and you can hook up a microphone as well if you want to do some online gaming and this is the little, well you can see that little remote that the camera's going to focus. It all lights up and looks nice and fancy but yeah, that's the uh, how I listen to to my games. I've got these buttons here. I don't even know what half of them do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the the TV and the the sound system I use. So I suppose I'll I'll move on to some of the the consoles. So down here I've got the original fat PlayStation 2, and I don't play this too much anymore. I think the only game I really play is maybe Wipeout every now and then, but that's about it. Uh, that's just sitting in its blue vertical stand there. Next to that I've got the black Nintendo Wii and this is one of the backwards compatible ones so you can play your GameCube games on it as well which is quite nice. This has been soft modded so you can play your homebrew, your backups and everything. I've got a little external hard drive hidden back there. You can see that. And that's got all my games stored on it so don't need to bother about putting discs in there, it just plays them straight off that hard drive which is kind of handy. Next to that I've got the black Xbox 360 HD DVD drive and I painted this myself, you can probably see it's needing a bit of a, a touch up but yeah I do still watch and collect 
HD DVD films. I know it's a, an extinct format, but I still think they're kind of cool anyway, so that's why I've got that. Next up here we've got the black Japanese D-Direct Dreamcast, and I've done tons of videos on this in the past, so I won't bother going into too much detail about that, but yeah, this has been region modded, it's got a region free BIOS in it, so put any disc you want in and it will just play it. doesn't matter if it's a backup or a retail disc or what region it's from, uh, yeah, it basically plays anything, so that's really cool to have. That's hooked up to the TV through the, the VGA uh, connector, so it looks really nice. Next up here we've got the Sega Saturn, and I recently just uh, replaced this. I used to have the Model 2 version, I think it was, with the big grey round buttons. Uh, but I've since switched out for one of the Mark 1 versions. It's got like a little uh, CD access light and stuff on it. But again, this has been modified. It's got a region free BIOS installed in it, and also it's got the 50 60 hertz switch on the back as well. So you can put any game you want from any region and it'll play it. It doesn't play backups, but it will still play any uh, region game you want. Copy of the uh, yeah, Japanese version of King of Fighters in there. I think the cartridge should be back there as well. Yep. So, yeah, that will play pretty much any game you put into it, which is pretty cool. Next up here, we've got the Sega Mega Drive and Mega CD and basically Sega Tower. So, down here, you've got the Mega CD, got Mega Drive in the middle, uh, 32X at the top there, and then Plugged into that, I also have my let's pull this out, Sega Channel Adapter, and doesn't do anything anymore, totally obsolete, but it's still kind of cool to have. Did a video on that previously, so maybe I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out what that's all about, but yeah, that just sits in there as a kind of a placeholder. The Mega Drive has been modified, so it's got the 50-60 Hz switch, it's got the language mod, it, it's also been overclocked as well, so we switch in the back you can overclock it with. The 32X has also been region modded. A lot of people don't realise, but there's a slight difference between the uh, the different region 32Xs, and I've installed a little 50 Hz switch on that, just so that it's properly compatible with all the the games from I have like games from Japan and America and PAL and just so that I could play them all I had to region mod the, the 32X there. But yeah, moving along here we've got the original modified Xbox and again I've done videos on this in the past so I won't go into too much detail here but uh, it's got an X3 CE mod chip inside that's a little bank select switch for it there. You've got your LAN activity and HD activity lights there. It's got a screen on the front. The jewel's been modified and uh, yeah, blue LEDs in the front. It's got built-in infrared sensor, it's got built-in wireless controller as well, so you don't need to plug anything in. Uh, what I might do is just show you that uh, plugged in at night, I'll maybe throw on some footage at the end of this video and you can see uh, what it looks like, because it looks kind of nice when it's all lit up, but yeah. Under here we've got the sensor bar for the Nintendo Wii, that's kind of hidden away into the, the cabinet itself. And next to that, I've also got my media player. This is a Sunvision Micro 2, I believe it's called. I'm not too sure of the name. But yeah, this little thing here, I'll try and show you. I've kind of installed it into the, uh, the cabinet here. It's about the same size or smaller than a, a box of, a pack of cigarettes. And it will play HD files, pretty much anything you, you put on there. It'll play it, so all your MKV files, your Blu-ray rips, whatever, just put them on a, an SD card, plug it in, or you can put it on a, a USB, uh, fire that in there, and it'll play pretty much anything, so yeah, really happy to have that. It's hooked up to the TV through the HDMI. Moving along here, we've got the two Xbox 360s, and this one here is completely stock, apart from the fancy coloured LED in the front there. Uh, this is the one I use quite a lot for, well, I use it for online play, it's not modified in any way, so. Yeah, this one here is the modified JTAG hacked unit, so this will play all your backups, all your homebrew, all that kind of good stuff there. 
it's got the little window on the hard drive uh, and all lights on and stuff again I'll maybe show you that at the end of the video got the camera uh, down here I've got the external drive this is a 1.5 terabyte external USB drive and that's connected up to the the JTAG unit here this has got all my games stored on it um, so I also use it as a backup drive as well but yeah that all lights up as well which is kind of cool along here I've got the original master system this is the PAL version and I've modified this with well, a 50 60 hertz I think actually I just modified it to 60 hertz I didn't bother putting a switch on it uh, just so that I could have the games run in full screen basically but uh, yeah on the front here I keep my 3D adapter it doesn't work with this TV obviously because it's a, a modern LCD but uh, I can just take that downstairs and plug it into the, the CRT if I want to play 3D games. As a placeholder I also have my copy of, let's pull this out of here, Robocop vs the Terminator. <laughs> it's just a loose game I had, I thought it was kind of cool just to keep that in there as a placeholder. It just lives in there, so that's my original master system. Moved along here, it's the only system I don't have hooked up, it's the Sega Multi Mega or CDX depending on where you're, you're from. It's basically like a, an all-in-one mega CD and mega drive. The cartridge slot back there. Yeah, I got this quality fixed up. I don't really need to have this because obviously I've got all this going on down here. Um, but I just think it's too cool to have hidden away in a cupboard or in storage somewhere. So I thought, well, I'll just put it out on display because it's kind of cool. So yeah, uh, and finally along here, We've got the PlayStation 3 and again I don't use this too much for playing games on, this is mostly just used for Blu-rays and DVDs. Um, I've got a little stand here, this all lights up, uh, but yeah that's pretty much it. Um, my foot and that's all the, the systems there. So over this end here is where I keep some of my games and these are mostly just for the systems I no longer collect for. or. I'm not actively looking for games for anymore, apart from the ones up the top which are for the 3DS. Um, but yeah, down the bottom here, I've got some Japanese Dreamcast games. Um, I've got some North American Dreamcast games here. There's a Sega Saturn, that's the box for the King of Fighters. Just keep that in there. Up here, I've got some of my PlayStation 3 games. I don't really buy games for the PlayStation 3 anymore. I don't really play the system that often. So the only games I really have are like the, the exclusives. Yeah, this is one of my favourite games here, Heavenly Sword. So yeah, that's pretty much my entire PlayStation 3 collection there. Uh, that's all my Wii games, so some of the exclusives for the, the system there, like Dead Space, Extraction and a Boy and His Blob. Up here I've got some CDs and some of the uh, US versions of uh, DS games that I've imported. The Metal Slug 7, that sort of thing. And up the top here I've got my 3DS games and I still collect for that system so probably as I collect more I'll get rid of the CDs here and put them in there. And at the top we've got my uh, Duke Nukem statue thing there, I thought that was kind of funny. He just sits on the top of there and will be looking at my, uh, my systems and stuff there so that's kind of cool. And I found an old lamp that I, I built like way 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 back in my cupboard so I just pulled that out there and that lives there. So here's some of the games I'm playing right now and they're mostly just for the uh, 360 at the moment but I've got one Mega Drive game here and it's Shadow Dancer. This is a, an old Japanese cartridge I found on eBay really cheap so I'm playing a lot of that, it's a lot of fun. Um, on the 360 I've been playing Driver San Francisco, this is a, a, a really good fun arcade style uh, driving game, tons and tons of fun, it's like a, an open world sort of like burnout feel to it, so I've been playing that. Uh, really getting into this game here, this is Mass Effect, um, I've had this sitting in my shelf for, I don't know, best part of a year and I picked it up a couple of weeks back and started playing it and I think I'm about 20 odd hours into it. Uh, a lot of fun. 
well, fun, in the right words, to describe Mass Effect. It's a, an action RPG style game, so there's a lot to do, a lot to explore in this, so this will probably keep me busy all the way up to Christmas. And right here, the latest thing I bought was Dead or Alive 5. This is the collector's edition. Uh, I'm a huge Dead or Alive fan, and this is a, a great fighting game, so yeah, that's just some of the games I'm currently playing. So, as for systems I'd like to add to my collection, I'm quite happy with what I've got right now. Um, don't really need any more retro systems, and the last time I made one of these videos people were asking why didn't you have like the Nintendo Entertainment System and the SNES, uh, why, why aren't they out in your uh, gaming system set up here? And I do have them, I just keep them in storage, and if I ever do want to play them I've got a little uh, connection here. I can plug in either a, a SCART in there or like the composite connectors in as an extra plug socket as well. I can play it through that if I want or what I usually tend to do is just use the Xbox here to emulate any of the, the older systems so that's why I don't have any Nintendo systems out. I'm not like a fanboy or anything and I hate Nintendo. I've got the Wii over there which will play the GameCube and Wii games obviously. But uh, yeah, that's all the systems i got right now I'm quite happy with. I'd like to get a slim Xbox 360, one of the 4 gigabyte uh, models, just because it would be a bit quieter and a bit more reliable. There's no rush for that. Um, and as for the next generation of Xbox or 360, I'm not too fussed about that right now either. I'd like a, a Wii U, I'd like to replace that with a, a Wii U at some point, but again, really don't have the money and I mean I've got more than enough stuff to keep me occupied for right now, but uh, yeah, as opposed, well, with regards to improvements on this actual system or this setup here, ideally I'd like to build my own like cabinet to house all this thing, all these things here. I've already hacked apart this <laughs> just so it will fit my consoles properly. I cut out the uh, the legs that used to sit down here just so I could fit them in there better. That's why I've got a broom handle, <laughs> if you can see that there, supporting the, the extra weight. There's not really a lot of weight above that. Everything's really at the back there and there's a set of legs supporting that anyway. But I put in a broom handle there just to give it a bit more security. But other than that, yeah, um, I'm quite happy with my setup. Right so here's a quick view of how things look at night, which is usually when I'm doing my gaming. So I fired up the PlayStation 3 and the JTAG 360. I'll quickly show you those. So you can see on the top of the 360, I've got the hard drive window with the blue LEDs. And I've also got some blue LED fans back there. I don't know if you're able to see them. It's probably quite noisy as well. In there. And on the front of the 360 I've also got some uh, blue LEDs on the, the ring of light there. And this is the external hard drive. It's got a, a light under here, you can adjust that. It's just an activity light. Down here we've got the original Xbox with the screen. And blue LEDs. Got the Modified jewel, and cleared out jewel on the top. And over here, we've got the PlayStation 3. And again, this has got a blue LED base on it. And you can turn this on and off if you don't like it. If you're watching a film and you want it switched off, you just hit the button there. And that turns that off. And finally, we've got the, the headphones, which I uh, already showed. But that's what they look like at night time. There you go, that's my snapshot of my gaming setup for 2012. I'd be really interested to see everyone else's, so if you want to make a video response or whatever, that'd be really cool. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.